If I asked you to recite the first nine elements in the periodic table, what would you say? What I would say is, hi, here lies Ben because Kathy never offered flowers. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Simple tricks for easy memorization. Salient in our minds for maybe another couple of years, but does memorization equate a memory? What are we truly going to remember from our time at McMaster? President Dean, Chancellor Wilson, Dean Capone, distinguished guests, family, friends, good afternoon. On behalf of graduates here today and those who share our joy, thank you all for coming to witness a culmination of hard work and aspirations of something greater come to fruition. Graduates, it is an honor and privilege to speak on your behalf, and I thank you for giving me this opportunity. Now, just to warn you, if you're looking for advice or any kind of special Confucius type stuff, I'm afraid I'm not the guy. I can probably awful offer a ill-conceived science joke and maybe another awful inappropriate joke, but in terms of the advice, I'm not really the best, so I hope you'll bear with me. First off, I want to thank our parents, families, and loved ones for being an excellent support system during our pursuit of higher education. My parents grew up in relative poverty in the Philippines, and my father at a very young age had to make a choice between two things. Go to school or work so that his siblings could go to school. He chose the latter. I always tell people that I am humbled and eternally grateful for my parents' sacrifices to get me to this point. And so to the parents today, thank you. Thank you for dealing with us at our most obedient moments and maybe our most bratty. Thank you for taking us on our first tour of McMaster. And most importantly, thank you for letting us watch that extra episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy, even if it meant witnessing a baking soda and vinegar volcano mess in the, in the living room. Thank you. To the battalion of professors, teaching assistants, and instructional assistants, you who shared your expertise and knowledge and you who also remained patient through a titration gone awfully pink. Thank you. Mac has some of the most distinguished and smartest faculty in Canada, if not the world, and you only get better as the years go by. Now back to the memories. I still remember my first chemistry lab. I was too excited. I ran wearing my lab goggles and my lab coat and stepped foot in the lab. But then the TA was looking at me and she looked down. Looking down, I wondered what was going on, and then she told me, you're not supposed to be wearing flip-flops and shorts. It's only because it's for safety reasons and, you know, there are all these volatile chemicals, but at that moment, at that moment in time, I thought that I'd made the biggest mistake in my entire life. How would I ever su survive in university? How would I ever make it through? A little bit overdramatic, but looking back, it seems so trivial. But it only shows how much we've grown how much we've improved and developed. Not just in our hard skills and not just in the way we write papers or perform labs, but improving the way we deal with others and with the world around us. We've become more self-aware. And if there's one thing that I'll keep as a memory from McMaster, that's probably it. It's that the moments that you thought were trivial at that point in time are those moments that build up and define who you are. So as we move on, what will stick out in your mind? It won't be a mnemonic for all the amino acids in alphabetical order or the concept for light in parallel universe number 79. It will be the context of our education, the environment, the experiences that served as background for academic pursuits. Daydreaming of the MDCL waterfall room, eating some righteous vegetarian chili at Bridges, chatting about the future under a giant tree in front of BSB line. We'll all remember it. And so whether you choose to pursue professional or graduate studies, start a family, work at your dream job, or take some time off, don't forget to keep a memory from your time at McMaster with you. A memory of the relationships you made during this journey. Keep it in your back pocket, serving as a reminder of a time well spent with trips to downtown Hamilton, journal articles, energy drinks, more energy drinks, and maybe some extra energy drinks, and most importantly, the peers who you can now call your friends. Congratulations, McMaster, Faculty of Science, Class of 2011. 
You're worth your weight in gold, element number 79. Don't forget. And you gave it your all. Don't stop. The quest we've come to know and love of science never ends. And whether you like it or not, you'll always be a McMaster scientist at heart. Thank you.